good to leave. Okay, there is my phone going. That wood's in here somewhere. Found it. Okay. No, it's not gonna stay there. I just gotta get my seatbelt on, then I'll move it. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Okay, so Stephen and the license plates. So <laughs> this is gonna be funny. So Stephen and the license plates goes back several years. First, I have to do a little bit of context. I told you before that my dad is the car guy in our house. Yes. He really likes cars. He's been. He used to go, like, when he grew up in Montreal, because that's where he's from, he uh, used to go down to the car lots, kind of like you used to you do with the uh, movie posters and take a look at what's new. Mm -hmm. So that's what he would do. Uh, Dad is, was a big Chevrolet guy back in the day, because... Back... Nice Tesla. Don't like the color. No, it's not a very good color. It looks like poo. Really? If someone's poop is that color, I would be worried. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so there were, like, not very many choices of cars back then. So back then, the Chevrolet was, like, a big deal. Anyway, so Stephen, he kind of passed that on to Stephen. But Stephen does not really care. About, like, Stephen can look at any car and tell you what car it is just by glancing at it. Obviously, I can't do that, as you probably have guessed. Yes. But Steven can look at any car and tell you exactly what model it is. He has lots of superpowers like that. He can tell you what day of the year you were born on, if you give him the date that you were born on. If I was born on November the 10th, 1984, he will be able to tell you right away that that's a Saturday. Really? Without looking at a calendar. <laughs> wow. Yes. And he's always right. And that's your actual birth, birth date? That is the day of the week that I was born on, on a Saturday. If you go and look at a calendar, like a calendar that shows you like previous years. Oops. That's the first time that happened. Yeah. If you go back and look at a calendar, you will see that November the 10th, 1984, which is the day the date I was born, the day of the week was a Saturday. Does he know what time you were born at? No. There's no way he can predict that from the date. But if you give him the date, he can tell you what day of the week you were born on. Sometimes he has to calculate it in his head. It takes him like a minute or two, but he always gets it right. Well, tell him my birthday was December 13th, 1994, next time you see him. Okay. I'll do it on the, I'll show it, I'll, I'll do it on the video so you can actually see him do it. Okay. And I'll, it'll prove that he can do it without looking at a calendar or his phone or any other sort of thing. But anyway, Stephen is very obsessed with license plates. And he doesn't like novelty license plates like, you know, hi, Yeehaw You or whatever it was. Yes, Yeehaw You. Like, at least that's a custom license plate. Like, someone said, make me a license plate that says Yeehaw You. What Steven does is he likes just the random combinations of letters on license plates. Like these cars? Well, yes. His big thing is... Like, for a while... You see how license plates have four letters and three numbers. Except for this one, which is another uh, custom license plate here. But the standard license plate in Ontario that has come up in the last few years has four letters and three numbers. Stephen, what's the, when they, they, they made that change over because they used to have three letters and three numbers. But they eventually ran out of unique combinations because they kept making cars. So they started making license plates with four letters and three numbers. And this was a very big deal for Stephen. Because then he had to look around and see if he could find license plate A A A A O O O. And then he would wonder where license plate A A A A O O One was. So he would like look at all the license plates on the on the highway, and he would be looking at every single one. And every time he saw one that was a little bit like like right now we're going through the C's. I don't know how many combinations of letters and numbers that makes, but uh, there are a lot. Like you have to go through C-A-A-A-O-O-1, C-A-A-A-O-O-2, 
and you have to go through CABA001 after a couple thousand of those. So eventually we're going to get to cars that start with the letter D. Mm -hmm. Right? As soon as he sees a, a, a license plate with a, with a letter that starts with D, we're going to be hearing about it for a while, for several months. <laughs> like, so far he's seen A, B, and C. And he'll say, there's license plates, license plates with A, license plates with B, and license plates with C. But right now there's no license plates that say D. And he'll let me know about this every time we go on the highway. He looks at the license plates and he's 30 and he still does that? He's 31, actually. Wow. Yes. So he's 31 and he still looks at license plates? He's obsessed with license plates. Not as bad as it used to be, but he still does it. Um, does he still think Josh no. is the killer? Josh is the killer. No, he has to be reminded about Josh is the killer. That He was only mad because I was hiding myself under a scream like mask and black cloak and using a, a knife made of duct tape. Bloused. Yeah, bloused. Bloused was a separate thing. <laughs> Steven never cared much about bloused. It's not part of his like little group of things that he thinks about. He doesn't care about it. Did he did he like that camp? No, he didn't like that camp at all. He got there and everyone and everybody in my cabin started asking him to do all kinds of like funny stuff because I would tell him the same sort of stuff and then I told him the same sort of stuff I told you. Only he was like ten years younger and it was his did Actually, he had to do bloused? I think he, they, they, I think they asked him to do bloused, and he, did, but he didn't do it as much as I did because he didn't know what it was. Yeah, I had to okay, I that was this. idiotic. Yes, don't do that. Never do that. That's idiotic. Yeah. Yeah, I had the bloused, and I had the running bloused, where I would like run like across like the, the baseball field and do a bloused. Did Steven ever get sprayed by the P? No, he squirter didn't. Scuns? He didn't get. No, he was only there for, like, a visiting day. Like, the kids in the cabin weren't going to, like, go after him. Besides, that was on the other side of the camp. I did not like that camp. <laughs> but I know that kind of stuff happens at every single camp you can think of, so, you know. I'm glad you don't I do camp lost. anymore. No, I'm glad I don't do camp either. It's even worse if you're a girl at one of those camps. Because the boys are really horny when it comes to girls. That is correct. You are absolutely right about that. <laughs> so, Steven, and, and boys can also be perverts to yeah, girls, too. And to each other. Anyway, uh, so Stephen, not only... I don't know if he's still doing this because I haven't observed him doing it, but then again, I'm not as home as much as I used to be. So he may, still, he may very well still be doing it, I just haven't seen it. I'm going to say there's a non-zero possibility he still does this. Not only does he like to look at license plates and draw combinations of letters on license plates, um, also certain combinations of letters can make him really mad. Like if he sees two letters together that he doesn't think should be together. Okay. And here's, uh, another, here's another great, what is this guy doing? <laughs> That's an interesting uh, way of carrying your remarks. So, if he sees a combination of letters that he doesn't like, he gets really mad. I don't know what combinations of letters actually upset him, I just know that they exist. But, what I was going to say is that there's a non-zero possibility that Stephen draws his own license plates using a pen and a paper with combinations that he'd like to see, but can't see yet, because they haven't gotten to, like, license plates that start with D, for example, yet. I'll have to ask him if I see him if he's still drawing the license plates because he likes to draw he likes to draw all sorts of things that he can't that don't exist because he wants them to exist like he likes to make his own Super Mario Brother levels does he still do it? no I don't think he still makes the Super Mario Brothers levels I told him hey Steven there's a game called Super Mario Maker where you can make your own Super Mario levels what do you think of that he's like I don't care about that and I said but you used to draw them all the time yeah but they're not the same I said, of course they're the same. They're Super Mario Brother levels. And you can make Super Mario 3 levels. He never used to make Super Mario 3 levels, only the original Super Mario levels. Super Mario World levels. Bloused. Yeah, bloused. <laughs> Did you ever find out what that, what no, that meant? No, no, no. Montreal, people from Montreal, they like to make up weird words. Like, you know what poutine actually comes from? It's what? not a French word. So, when you eat poutine, it's got 
those cheese curds in it, right? Yes. So those cheese curds are supposed to rub against your teeth and they're supposed to make a squeaking noise. Ew. <laughs> kind of changes your perspective on poutine, doesn't it? Yes, I don't even eat poutines. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of poutine. I mean, I'll have it if there's nothing else, but, you know, it's not super great for you. So I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, that's where the, that's where the name came from. I'm like, how do you even get that? Like, where does that even come from? And, and even though the like the guys I went to are not like actual Quebecer Quebecers, because you know they have that thing about you know you're not a real Quebecer unless you've been there, unless you're like your your great grandfather was a voyageur or some other stupidness. Oh, like uh, how's your grandmother? Oh, she's doing okay. I mean, okay. She's, she, her hearing has gotten to the point where she thinks I'm I, where she doesn't know if I'm my father or not. No, I'm talking about her hip. Oh, her hip's fine. She's like physically, she's back to normal, and she has a limit. Okay, um, can't record that. Well, no, if you're in the passenger seat, it's not illegal. Oh wait. Okay, yeah, that's right. I know what you mean. Cops don't like being recorded. So she's doing okay, but like when I call her, it's even worse than it used to be because she she thought I was my father, and my father and her talk on the phone in a language called Yiddish she used to speak in the old country before she came over. Where did your grandmother grow up? She grew up in a small town in Poland called I can't say it. It's a bunch of counts, consonants smashed together. P-R-Z-E-M-S-L There's like one let constant, there's one vowel in the whole city's town name. Did she uh, did she grow up from like in the war? No, she was born a few years before the war but she and my grandfather left and they met on a on the quote coming over to Montreal. There's a picture of them together. Okay. They don't look very happy, but they. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Okay. See you in a couple of weeks. Yep.